This video will show you how to compare the means of a two category variable using SPSS. In this case, since it's a two category variable, we are going to use the independent samples t test in SPSS. I'll show you that later. But before that, I'll show you the table that we're going to get the t-test or the independent sample t-test. This is the comparison of means for respondents' motivation, school, and entrepreneurial tendencies according to gender. So gender is a two-category variable since it has two choices which is male and female. So our objective here is to get the mean for this two category variable and the t value and the p value. So you go back to SPSS. So after opening your data, go to analyze, compare means, then go to independent samples t-test. Here you select first the test variables, which are the motivation, school factors, and tendencies. Then we get the grouping variable, which is the two category variable, gender. Then we define the groups. You type here one, which is the value for male and two for female. Click continue and click OK. So here is the results for group statistics and independent samples t-test. In the group statistics, we're going to get the mean and for the independent samples t-test, we get the t value and the sig to tail, which is the p value. I show to you here in our table. So this is the mean and the t value and the p value. We're going to get it. Each of the variables here that we compare the means according to gender. So very simple, just get this value here for motivation. We have 4.83. Just um, round off this one. And then here also 4.92. So copy it here 4.83 and 4.92. So to get the t value, so there are things that we need to consider. In a t-value, for example, in motivation, first you get the significance. Remember, there are criteria that we're going to get here because there are two lines here. The question is, which line or which value in this line that we're going to get? This is just very simple and always remember. The criteria here is that if the sig value here or the significance value is greater than 0 0.05, I repeat, if this is greater than 0 0.05, then you get the first line, which is negative 7.790, and the p value is 0.431. If this significance is less than or equal to 0 0.05 then you get the second line here okay which is negative 0 0.808 and the p value or the significance value in two tailed 0.422 so i repeat this is just very simple if this is greater than 
0 0.05, then you get the first line value for t and seek to tail. If this value is equal or less than 0 0.05, then get the second line of the t and the seek to value. So in this case, we're going to copy the negative 0.790 for the t and for the p value or the significance two tailed 0 0.431. So copy it here. So these are the values. So the same process when getting for school and tendencies. Let's look at the results here window. So for the mean, check in this item here for school and for tendencies. And this also item here in its table. You look at uh, this row here for the school factors and for the ten tendencies. I hope that it's clear on how to compare means of a two category variable using independent samples t-test in SPSS. Bye-bye.